Hey groovy people, it's me, Zen Jen. So, this has been a wonderful week. Um, and I'm gonna kind of make it go around here. At the beginning today, something exciting is going on. We have about four inches of snow already, um, just in about two or three hours. And um, my Chinese maple in the front is like, drooping big time because it still has leaves on it so the um, snow is real wet and it's weighing it down I think it's gonna crack but I've gone out and shake shaken it a few times so I went to shake it again and I thought okay I need my um, you know the rain galoshes um, so I went downstairs to put those on and and I was throwing them on and I thought I should check for spiders and the kids were up here, and I screamed at the top of my lungs, like, wah! Because there was something moving on top of my foot, and at first I thought, is that a spider? That's a giant spider, and it was, like, kind of... Um, and if you know me, I don't. I wear socks that have no toes, because I was, did dance before, so basically, um, I kicked my boot off and screamed at the top of my lungs, and a mouse was on in my boot. Ah! I was so freaked out, and um, the poor thing was like, oh my god, where do I go? Because our basement goes into this place under, I'm sure it's freaked out because it's snowing. But anyway, um, bottom line is, I shook the ice off of my tree after a screaming adventure with the mouse, and, um, <laughs> and how this is relevant is I'm thinking, last week I went to the CNS Symposium, which is... Um, uh, Center for Neuroendocrinology, um, oh, what is it? I forget. Anyway, I've been going to their meetings, uh, for about a year now, and, um, they're awesome. They have this thing called Hormones for Breakfast, so there were five speakers at this, and, um, they're from all over the country, um, doing research on the brain, the social brain, so on behavior and... Um, the mechanics and the juices of your brain. They call themselves the juice people because they're the endocrinologists. So, anyhow, um, I've really wanted to study this um, for quite some time, and I study it as a hobby for fun. Yeah, I read um, like immunology books for fun. <laughs> but um, I was in my element, and I had so much fun, and the very last speaker was Dr. Hollander at Einstein University, and he's doing uh, research about um, oxytocin and also about, um, I forget what they're called, what are they? Um, it's a particular kind of worm that is in your intestines, and it tricks the immune system into thinking, into reducing. If your kid has ever had a fever and then they speak when they're on that, that's kind of um, the same effect. Um, they really don't know why. Um, because the brain is such an amazing machine that we can't figure it out. Um, but it shook the ice off of my branches and it made me feel inspired. And Justin had a horrible day here with my help. I had four staff and he really tore the house apart. He was very nervous and they were nervous. And I think um, they did a lovely job and so did he. But it was, um, it was okay because I had a wonderful day doing that and it really confirmed that that's what I want to be doing. So, um, I got the ice shaken off of my branches and now it's a matter of shaking the ice off of, um, off of our, would you mind? <laughs> that's Justin's timer. Um, but shaking the ice off of our family's branches. I mean, we found staff and now we need to, we're still researching on how to get this law passed. This is, there's a law that just passed in Massachusetts called the Arica Law, which requires um, health insurers, uh, primary health insurers, to cover um, research-based therapies. And our, ours will cover eight hours per day. Um, however, we have to find a provider. Um, and that's the trick. <laughs> a qualified provider um, or a biller. So if you know any tricks, please give me a call. Um, but uh, we also are going to need um, a building fund because after going to the Sunrise, they do like a playroom program. And of course, Justin's big. So we had the entire basement in mind. Um, it's really big and it's fun and um, kind of indestructible. But Justin found out that he can pull the tiles down 
from the ceiling. So we we have all kinds of things that have to be justinized um, because he can find the the hole in the um, whatever I don't know the expression, but basically he can find a hole in any system, and um, so. Uh, we have to have our house batten down, so I'm going to probably try and do a workshop, a dance workshop here in the next um, few months to raise an initial, you know, thousand dollars or so, um, hoping so that um, groovy people can apply for a nonprofit, which would be awesome. Right now we're kind of just an entity that um, hasn't provided any formal services yet, but this is uh, in the process, and my sister's going to help me. Yay! Thanks, Lori. And um, I'm going to do a workshop, and within a year I hope to be in a pre-med program. So, boom! Um, here we go. Uh, so we need your help. If you have any ideas, you can go ahead and um, send me any grant ideas, anything that you know that I need to know, because um, I need you people. And um, other than that, just send us energy and um, shake the ice off of your branches so that you don't crush under the pressure and um, uh, have a great week. Peace and love. Bye.